DXA talks about is a significant capital reallocation of South America. Can you explain what you mean by that? And of course, what sectors you think are looking positive over the next uh, three to five years? The world is uh, living right now a very interesting moment of having uh, more than uh, $15 trillion allocated to negative yield bonds, right? So we're living a very, in a way, risky moment, but also a uh, moment that's uh, pre-capital uh, reallocation, in, in my view. When we see the impacts of the 2008 crisis, we've seen a big inflow of capital towards China, towards larger GDP uh, growth number, emerging markets, and we see, we've seen that in a big allocation from global mutual mutual funds, fixed income mutual funds, uh, equity mutual funds. And these funds, they will continue to have a mandate of allocating towards uh, global markets. But when we see the percentage that most of these funds have towards uh, LATAM is less than 2%. And LATAM is almost 10% of the global GDP. So that big gap between the representation of uh, global economy versus the representation into uh, major global allocators, we think that that's going to change. And we think that this is going to change towards LATAM, where we're, we think that we will see more and more a outflow of capital from Asia and, and, and China going towards more normal levels of allocation there. And that money is going to be driven more towards LATAM. Which sectors we will see? And I think we, we, we are seeing definitely a surge for sectors sectors are more resilient and we're talking about food related and that can be agriculture that can be consumer food related uh, type of companies mm -hmm. uh, we are seeing also a strong uh, flow or interest towards healthcare uh, we see through towards financial solutions. And when we see opportunities in, in Latin America, and uh, definitely it's true for Brazil, but it's true for other countries in Latin America also, the lack of basic uh, solutions that now we see in uh, the developed world, in the financial side, in the health side, in the food side, we think that that's going to drive a lot of the allocation. Brazil, uh, uh, just to give you an idea, Today is the second largest food exporter in the world, and the UN's FAO expects to become the number one in a couple of years because there's still a lot of arable land not taking account into the Amazon, just simply kind of a arable land that can be used. And we think that that's going to drive a lot of the capital inflows into the country uh, in, in, in this sector.